So today we're in the Ogryn Valley, which is one of the premier mountain bouldering destinations I'm gonna say in the country, and not just Wales, I'm talking about the whole the United Kingdom here. It has quality abound throughout, and it does it in quite a large area as well. The Ogden Valley isn't just one set of boulders, it's lots of sets of boulders, and within those sets of boulders, there's classic upon classic upon classic. Oh yeah. Now the rock type varies between that edgy volcanic mountain rock that you'll be used to pulling down on those small crimps and really positive edges to actually some really lovely textured handholds, which have an almost gritty sandstone feel to them. And it's really nice that you get both of these two rock types and these two differing styles of climbing all within the same area. Not only that, but just look at the surroundings. Today, the sun's shining. Triven is looking absolutely resplendent. I can't believe I used the word resplendent. Anyway, the mountains look unbelievably good today, and the valley itself, it's just jaw-dropping. Cask Thrive has a small, quite compact collection of really classic problems close to the road. The rock is a really interesting rock, actually. It feels like it's a volcanic rock, but it's got quite a lot of texture for it. got quite a lot of friction Ooh. to play with, particularly for footholds, and also whilst using the handholds as well. It's not maybe outright edgy. There's some nice textured features that you can use as slopers. That's lovely. The pockets variation. Uh, look at you two. All right. So, top tip for Cassock Frith. Leave it a while after wet weather. Not because of the rock, because it's quite quick drying, or at least it is in places, but because the bottom is a swamp. So if you've watched any of these videos before, you'll recognize Zar, he's one of our editors. This is John, he's Scottish. So we brought John along today um, as part of an equal opportunities program. <laughs> <laughs> so we brought John along today because we need a bit of firepower. Um, I'm not in my tip top form. Zar, are you tip top? I'm far from tip top. To John, he's the muscle. <laughs> That doesn't usually get said about me, to be honest, but I'm having a good day <laughs> getting shown about some nice boulders. First time being down here, so quite enjoying it. Right, so I reckon this is the best face at the sheep pen boulder. Uh, not least, because there's a bunch of good up problems, but also, particularly on the right-hand side, there's some really good link-ups as well.
Hmm. Top tip, look at the top out holds before you try to top out. Oh yeah. Yeah, there's holds, I just didn't use any of them. So here where we are today, up at Sheep Pen. This is one of, I think, the best spots to go bouldering in North Wales. It's elevated just above the valley on this amazing little plateau that's sort of hidden from view. You can't see the boulders from the road. And then it's got everything from your font fives and sixes through to sevens, through some absolute desperates like compact culture at font 8B. Yeah, drop your knees. Hip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, come on. Sort your feet and then turn it. Left foot out, John. Zah, get him good. Remember you got that hold to go up to, John. Fucking, I don't know what the hell you're doing there. The thing, yeah, you're going to have to get to that next thing. Because you're going to have to get your hand all the way up. Yeah, it's a big flip, isn't it? So you're going to need to, like... Right, just the minor detail now of doing the actual problem as opposed to just half of it. Left again, keep going like, or you can just shuggle about onto you. Keep going left. Yeah, it's like with the right hand you can. Just watch us here. Yeah, 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 you can. Come on, mate. Come on. <laughs> nice one, John. That was I would be lying if I said there was moments today where I thought that we were going to do this. <laughs> I, I, I didn't think I'd I need to get the, the undercut. Oh, that's so good. Yeah, it's nice that it came down. Came together. Yeah, man. I'm pretty happy. I did, I did not think I was going to do it at the start. Just getting into that undercut is pretty... Once you're in it, it's okay. But then you kind of wobble in to get your feet over. And then eventually, once you kind of plant your left foot out, you just get up into it, and then you kind of feel okay at top. But I'm not great at top out, how did, so... How did you feel? Did I kind of you... felt a bit like going over at the end. I was like, oh, <laughs> what's your... Quite good if you were, like, doing a lot of board climbing. Um, but it's like... Yeah, tensiony, like, those wee small feet, you, you, and just quite powerful in the, you know, if, as you're going up to that undercut, you just kind of, there's a lot involved in terms of, you need a bit of coordination as well and things like that, so, but there's a lot involved in 
<laughs> there's yeah, a lot, yeah, there's a lot. It's, it's, a, a, it's a complex <laughs> business. You've got to be a complete climber, you know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Did we climb the same problem? I'd love to think that the way that I did it was harder. <laughs> Do you think it was harder, John? <laughs> so I was trying it using John's method, which is probably the method. But then thankfully, Joe here, an old friend of mine from North Wales, brought with him gifts of uh, alternative beta and thankfully these, these beaters were easier than the ones that we were using, but... Well, I say that actually, wait, wait, wait. I think it's probably actually, if John had tried it my way, he wouldn't have been in with a chance. He's just not got it in him. <laughs> there's a right way and there's a wrong way. <laughs> Which we just... way is the right? <laughs> Mine is the right way, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> Potentially the problem that people come up here to do is the pinch, simply because it is this incredible one move wonder, and what a move as well. But his position above the hillside is just, I think it could be the most beautiful boulder in Wales. Hey, kapow! Oh. <laughs> Come on, John. Right, John. Not this again. Kapow. Move, mate. So every area has its iconic boulder problem. Yosemite has midnight lightning, Font has karma, the Peak District has careless talk, and in North Wales, we reckon we've found its most iconic boulder problem, and it's here just behind us. And no, it's not the Arete. It's the Idwal squeeze. The quality increases the higher you get. Anyway, right. It, de it, it definitely doesn't look like any quality is increasing here. It was nice knowing you, mate. <laughs> Have a good trip. Film it in slow-mo. See you in half an hour. Fuck's sake. He can't fit his bottom in. <laughs> Or to be honest, most of them in. Oh dear, this has got off to a worse start than I thought it would. <laughs> Oi, there you go. See ya. No wonder you did it when you were a wee guy. Yeah. And let us know if you want any beta, like, you know, hand helpful holds, <laughs> key crucial footholds. Our, our cameraman said he did this when he was a wee guy, and I can understand why it would be easier then, but. You're 30 years old and a lot stiffer and a lot bigger. <laughs> It's not quite as... John, you've actually got a crimp on there. I know. Oh, here we go, here we go. At least I'm not as tall as that, though, eh? <laughs> yeah. There you go. Easy. <laughs> Let's top it out. What do you reckon then, John? 
I'm not doing that again. I don't. Oh, yeah. And now I can be sure that I am actually not going to be stuck in there forever. <laughs> So we've just had an amazing day climbing in the Olguin Valley. We've visited three different areas and we would have loved to have gone to more because there are loads more. But basically, I don't think my skin, my fingers, my body or my mind can cope with anymore. So maybe that's one for another day. But we've barely scratched the surface. There are a whole bunch of different areas in Ogwin alone where we haven't climbed today. And then over the hillside, you've got the Slamberis Pass where we filmed last year. And then the coast, a whole host of other crags. In North Wales, there is just an unfathomable amount of rock. 